morning. I have to leave for physiotherapy and I'm already late. I just got home and I haven't said anything but welcome to a day in my life as an adult ballerina every day in my life is different because I have three jobs today I'm not gonna do all of them because I try to avoid days where I'm always like switching tasks because it's too tiring at one I have to leave for my lab job and I'm going to bring you along but right now it's 11.50 I had physiotherapy in the morning and I took advantage of the fact that physiotherapy is next to the big supermarkets so we did like a big monthly grocery trip in that way we don't have to waste like an entire morning on the weekends to do our big like grocery trip so I'm gonna show you what we got so I'm going to do this in a random order because that's how things are in the grocery bags but we got a ton of coffee because we were running out of it and I have a problem with coffee and I don't really drink it outside of the house because it's just so expensive we got two bags of bagels because we have been loving bagels and because it's just like such a big bag we can just keep it in the freezer and for the next monthly trip we'll just pick it up again we got two big tubs of icelandic yogurt which is like greek yogurt but richer in protein we got cheese and some fusilli pasta we got some croutons for salads we got a big box of cornflakes tomato sauce and tuna some bathroom cleaner and purple shampoo so i can try to tone my hair because i went blonde but i was ginger before and you know that you can't like take ginger out so i'm trying to tone it like slowly and see if it just doesn't get so grassy we got a ton of fruit and vegetables we got some spinach and lettuce some strawberries we got some apple and pears we got milk obviously we got a ton of tangerine we got potatoes and zucchini this thing we got meatballs and some beef for pitas these chicken burgers that are really like good for salads then we got some fish frozen things like breaded fish fillets and this like cheese balls with fish it's like it's tasty but it's like very Icelandic then we got some spring rolls just for easy meals and that was it we're going to make a salad for lunch I'm going to grab some tomatoes olives and I think this is enough for the random selection of today So I'm now heading to my university to work in the afternoon. I don't think I can do many hours because I want to get back home early so I can do other work stuff. But yeah, the weather is really bad today. But this is just the most typical thing for Iceland. Rain, wind, cold and miserable. So I'm currently working with a microscope. I actually haven't been doing this for my lab job, but apparently this needed to be done. And this is honestly just my favorite part and I'd rather be doing this instead of the things that I'm used to do. I think I have showed you this before, but basically I'm just getting images uh, from this little pieces of rock that I can see in the microscope and also on the computer screen and trying to find interesting stuff to then look at the microprobe in the next week. I've been just writing everything that I'm getting and writing down on like this larger scale of this little mount. And it's just really fun. I could do this all day. I don't know what 
this is eat something really quick, do my little lab workout, and then film some content. It's just like a little get ready with me. So I'm going to toast just a bagel. I have been really obsessed with bagels, like you saw, from the amount that I bought. But if I didn't have practice today, I honestly wouldn't just eat anything at this time. If you are Portuguese and you are watching, you know that moving to another country and not having lunch, um, which is just our middle of the afternoon snack, which for Portuguese people is a full meal, like we do four main meals of the day. I usually eat it around like four or five, never at six, because that's just too close to dinner. But because I only get home around 10-ish, if I don't eat anything before I leave for practice, I'll be really shaky during class and that just throws off my balance. So I'd rather eat something more now and then maybe eat less at dinner. So I'm just going to do a 10 minute ab workout from Grace and Forum. I spoke about this on my last uh, video and because I was trying out, I didn't really know how much I wanted to promote it, but I've been using it for the past two weeks and I love it. It's just, it's so convenient. You just have a bunch of like workouts, but specific for ballet and dance. And not only because they also have like yoga and all of that, but it's just like instead of me going to YouTube and trying to look through the hundreds of like ballerina arm workouts, I know that in this platform I have what I want and I can like save the videos and I can add them to my calendar. They have this like nice feature where you can just add what you want for the day and you can like book it and you can see where they have like live classes and it's pretty cool uh someone asked me in my last vlog how much he was and it's just like 20 dollars per month which is pretty cool for live ballet classes and the teacher for the ballet classes it's actually in the new york city ballet so you know that you are getting something nice and good and the rest of the workouts the other owner of the platform is also like a trained dancer and she's more focused on like fitness and strength training and it's just really nice and i've been really enjoying this Again, not sponsored by them, but they asked me if I wanted to try it out and it has been a lifesaver because now I'm so much more motivated because I know what I can do outside of my only ballet class per week and it has been really nice. So if you want to try it out, I'm going to leave the link in the description and I do gain a small commission by it. And if you are like interested in this, it would be like a nice way to help this channel because I, I was just monetized and I haven't even made like $10. So if you want to support the channel by gaining something for yourself, that would be really nice. Running to catch the bus. <laughs> Thank you. 
just got home. I'm sweaty and tired, but I think I'm going to just heat up my leftover lasagna and eat something really quickly because I still have a few things to do. As you all know, I'm always really into skincare, but I've especially been trying to get on top of it because this whole face has been a mess. Like with changes on birth control, it's just my hormones are going crazy and I feel like I have more acne than I did when I was a teenager. Like today is not that bad, I just am dealing with scarring, but it has been really bad. Like I never get pimples on my cheeks. I just don't understand what's going on. So one of the things that has actually been helping is azelaic acid. It's just far more gentle than my glycolic acid or my salicylic acid. So I have a really sensitive skin and sometimes my skin just cannot handle that. So I've been really enjoying this. This one is from The Ordinary. And I have been cycling to using azelaic acid one day. And in the following day, I will do some more gentle skincare. And I will use like my niacinamide, which is my holy grail. Like this is the only product that I put on. And the next day I see like visible changes. And it just like make, makes my skin glowy. It helps it not be so irritated all the time because I do get super red because of my rosacea and it really helps with like textures and it's just amazing. I've been also using a lot of hyaluronic acid even though before this I used to be really against it because like everything has hyaluronic acid but this winter my skin has been specially dried so actually using hyaluronic acid on top of whatever other serum I'm using has been really helping and putting on like a really thick moisturizer at night is also really good. I have also tried like the viral soothing and barrier support serum but I'm not sure if I like it or if I like it enough for it to cost so much more compared to every other like ordinary product so yeah i've been trying to use it regularly but i don't know if it makes that much of a difference so i'm pretty tired already but this is usually what happens because i work at either of my jobs during the day so i only really have time by the end of the day to work on my social media and this is where I usually either edit like a long form video or like a short video. So today I'm going to edit the video that I filmed. The clips from class aren't actually from today, but I had some clips from a previous class that I actually filmed the bar. So I'm going to put them together with the get ready with me part. I'm going to edit for a while and then head to bed. Oh. And now it's just time for bed. I'm already way too tired, but I'm going to read Empire of Storms for like 10 minutes. Because I already said this in a vlog, but I have been rereading the Throne of Glass series. And I'm almost done with it, and I just love it so much. Yeah, going to read for 10 minutes to calm my mind and probably just pass out because I need to sleep. But I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you can subscribe for more videos, hopefully Bali related, because I have some things cooking. Like my next video is going to be a really exciting video that I feel like it's going to be the most complex video that I've ever done. So I'm so excited and I hope that you can stick around for that. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.